today, Pepper and her family are going for a walk in the countryside. What a lovely day! Perfect for walking! <laughs> Aha! Here's a sign showing all the ways we can go. So which way do we go? You choose, Pepper. Um, let's go that way. That way leads up a big hill. That is a big hill. What's at the top of the hill? Well, as it's such a big hill, there's probably something amazing at the top. I want to see the something amazing. Are you sure you want to climb all the way to the top, Pepper? Yes. <coughs> Let's go. <laughs> Pepper and George are climbing the big hill. Mummy and Daddy Pig are climbing the big hill. Phew! My legs are tired already. Oh, I knew it wouldn't be easy. Yay! The top! We did it! Hooray! I don't think this is the top. Look, the hill carries on. Yes, that wasn't the top because it didn't have the something amazing. Do you really think there will be something amazing at the top, Daddy Pig? Well... There's got to be a cafe or something. A cafe? Brilliant! That will keep me going. Ah, nearly there, George. It is hard work climbing the big hill. Oh, I can't wait to get to the cafe. Um, when I said there's got to be a cafe at the top, I should have added there's a chance there won't be any. Hello there! It is Miss Rabbit's cafe. Amazing! What can I get you? Coffee for Daddy Pig and me and juices for Pepper and George. Of course. Thank you! Thank you! Mm, this is just what I needed. Yes. It really was worth climbing to the top. Oh, this isn't the top. What? No, you have to keep going up. That way. OK, we've got this far, so we have to keep going. Onward and upward. <laughs> <gasps> oh. Mummy, why did they make hills so big? Oh, I don't know, Peppa. I hope <sighs> the amazing thing at the top is amazing. Yes, I hope so too. Oh, it's all gone far. Oh, I think we're in the clouds. We must be near the top. It's getting flat. I think this is it. We made it. Hooray! Hooray! Wow! I can see the whole world. Look, there's the playground. <laughs> I can see the supermarket. And there is Susie. <laughs> I told you it would be amazing at the top. It is amazing! <laughs> now all we have to do is climb down. Well, going downhill is a lot easier than going up. Come on, George. <laughs> Let's roll a bit. Whee! Pepper and George love rolling down hills. <laughs> that looks fun. Can you? Daddy? I think if I started rolling down, Pepper, I might not be able to stop. <laughs> Daddy Pig has tripped on a mushroom. Ah! Ah! Wait for us, Daddy Pig. Rolling down was really fun. Can we climb up the hill and do it again? Of course, but maybe we'll save that for another day. Yes, the big hill will always be here. Oh, goody! <laughs> Peppa loves the big hill. Everybody loves the big hill. Pepper <laughs> and George are watching Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Win a trip to Hollywood to star in my new film, Vegetables in Space. Ooh! Just find the golden ticket to win the trip of a lifetime to America! Mummy, can we find Super Potato's golden ticket, please? Well, there's only one ticket in the whole world, so we'd have to be very lucky to find it. Oh, what's 
What's this in the potato? It's the golden ticket. <gasps> Does that mean? Yes, it means we're going to America. America. Peppa and her family are flying to America. Miss Rabbit is the pilot. This is your captain speaking. We'll soon be arriving in America, I think. Does anyone know where it is? I've never been before. You can't miss it. It's really big. Is that it? Let's ask. Hello down there. Are you America? Yes, ma'am. We are. Jolly good. We're coming into land. <laughs> Welcome to America. <gasps> Miss Rabbit at your service. Where do you want to go? You're Miss Rabbit. Sure. But this is Miss Rabbit. Every town needs a Miss Rabbit. That's right. Bye. Enjoy your trip. Is this Hollywood? Hollywood? No! This is New York. Hop in. I'll give you the tour. <laughs> <laughs> New York, the city that never sleeps. Do you never sleep? Well, yeah, but only at night. <laughs> wow! The buildings are so tall! First stop of the tour, the Empire State Building! Wow! wow. Can we go to the top? For sure. Going up. Do you do all the jobs, Miss Rabbit? No, just the important ones. Ice creams! Ooh! We're so high in the sky! Oh, I can't look. Daddy Pig does not like heights. But there's so much to see, Daddy. Yes! With this telescope, you can see even more. I can see a big green lady with an ice cream. That's the Statue of Liberty. Look at me. I miss a Statue of Liberty. <laughs> Come on, people. we got to get moving. Oh, going already? Yeah, like we say in New York. If you ain't moving, you ain't going nowhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm moving. Where are we going next, Miss Rabbit? Times Square. Look at all the lights, Mummy! There must be a million light bulbs here. It's the most light bulby square in all the world. Oh, look! There's Super Potato! Coming soon, the new movie from Super Potato and Hash Brown, Vegetables in Space! That's a movie we're going to be in! Really? Well, then you better get straight to Hollywood! Yes! Can you take us? I'm afraid not, but I have just the thing to get you there. A motorhome! What's a motorhome? It's just like a house. On wheels! Ooh. Ooh. Here are your keys. Do you want to come too? And meet Hash Brown? Oh, sure. But I'm just so busy. You all have a great time. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Oh. I'm tired out. Yes, for a city that never sleeps, it's made me very sleepy. It has been a very busy day in New York. Good night. Night, night. night, night. Pepper and her family need a good night's sleep for the journey ahead. Madame Gazelle is taking Pepper and her friends on a school trip. Today, children, we are going on a creepy, crawly safari. Madame Gazelle, Pedro isn't here. Pedro Pony, why are you always late? There he is. Sorry I'm late. Stephen wanted to come too. Stephen? He's my stick insect. OK, you can bring Stephen, but it's your job to look after him. Thank you, Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Is everybody ready? Yes, Madame Gazelle! Then let's go! <laughs> Here is the creepy crawly safari. Will we see big scary animals on the safari? Oh, no, Danny. Any creatures we see today will be very tiny and not scary at all. Roar. <gasps> Here is Mr. Lion. Hello, everyone. Hello, Mr. Lion. Welcome to my safari. Mr. Lion. 
You startled me for a moment. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Madame Gazelle. Oh, silly me. I must try and remember. Gazelle, not Wildebeest. The children are very excited about the safari. Great. Today, they will meet little insects living in their natural home, the wild. Ooh. Stephen doesn't live in the wild. Ah, we have a pet insect with us today. How do you do, Stephen? Stephen says, how do you do? Marvellous. All aboard for the creepy crawly safari. <laughs> Here we are in the wild wood, full of creepy crawlies. I can't see any creepy crawlies. Here, try using a magnifying glass. A magnifying glass <laughs> makes tiny things look big. Ah, a ladybird. <laughs> Oh, how charming! Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here, we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs, so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh. <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone! <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh no! Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry, he can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear, Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes, Gazelle. <laughs> Look, Stephen's come back. <laughs> Welcome home, Stephen. Stephen the stick insect likes the creepy crawly safari, but he likes his own home the best. <laughs> <laughs> it is a lovely sunny day in Granny and Grandpa Pig's garden. Pepper and George are helping Grandpa Pig with his raspberry patch. A little bird has come to look at Grandpa Pig's raspberries. Ah! Shoo, shoo! Cheeky birds. Eat my raspberries, would you? The little birds like your raspberries, Grandpa. So do I. It's a good job I'm here to make sure they don't eat them all. Grandpa Pig, I've just had a wonderful idea. Let's go camping. Camping? Camping! <laughs> we could camp in the garden. No, let's drive somewhere, find a nice spot and pitch a tent. But our car is at Grandad Dog's garage, being fixed. Oh, yes. What about the old motorbike? Motorbike? Yes. Grandpa and I have had many adventures on our motorbike when we were younger. Whee! <laughs> Ah, yes, that was fun. But it was a long time ago, Granny Pig. All the more reason for us to get the old motorbike out again. <laughs> Here it is. Motorbike! What's this funny thing on the side? It's called a sidecar, Pepper. You and George can sit in it. What about my raspberries? You can't take your garden with you, Grandpa. Come on, it'll be fun to get away for a bit. I suppose so. 
But if we're going to go, I just need to make sure my raspberries will be safe. Pepper and George, you play in the garden while I pack a bag for the trip. OK. <laughs> <laughs> there. What are you doing with your raspberries, Grandpa? I'm keeping them safe from those pesky birds. Are you planting them in your shed? Um, sort of. Here we are, bags packed and ready to go camping. What are you wearing, Granny? This is my motorcycle jacket. It keeps me warm on the motorbike. Oh, my raspberries will now be safe and sound. Let's go. Very good. Do you have the helmets and goggles? Here they are. You must wear a safety <laughs> helmet if you ride on a motorbike. All aboard. Yes, Granny Pig. Which way should we go? That way. The seaside. Hooray! Whee! <laughs> <laughs> This is the life! <laughs> <laughs> Granny's motorbike goes brum 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 Granny's motorbike goes brum 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 all day long! <laughs> <laughs> this is Grandad Dog's garage. Hello! Fill her up, please, Grandad Dog. Granny Pig! I didn't know you had a motorcycle. Yes. We're using it while you fix our car. Well, the car is fixed. You can take it now. Oh. oh. If you don't mind, I think we'll pick it up later. We're having too much fun on the motorbike. Bye. 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 Granny's motorbike goes brum, brum, brum all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper and George have arrived at the seaside. Hooray! Let's camp here. But, Granny, we've forgotten the tent. No, we haven't, Pepper. This is a very special camping motorbike. Watch this! Wow! The motorbike has turned into a tent. It's a magic tent. Yes, Pepper. We've got everything we need to sleep by the sea. Hooray! I hope you're not missing your raspberries too much, Grandpa Pig. Not at all, because I made a few adjustments to the motorbike this morning and brought my garden too. Wow! Your raspberry patch! <laughs> Grandpa Pig loves camping, especially when he can bring his garden with him. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. <laughs> what game should we play today? Let's play shop! Yay! Yay! Shop, 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 shop! The clubhouse has a counter, like a little shop. What are we going to sell? We've got toy plastic fruit and cheese in the fridge. The little shop is open. Ho, ho, ho! What can we buy? Plastic fruit and plastic cheese. Can I have some plastic cheese, please? Yes, Mummy. And maybe a plastic apple to go with it. Thank you. That will be a lot of money, please. Oh, dear. I didn't bring any money with me today. That's OK. You can use these buttons. Lovely. Here are two buttons. Thank you. <laughs> have a nice day. What else do you sell? Um, we've got my toy, Owly. twit to woo OK, I'll buy Owly. Here is a button. Thank you. Now Owly is yours. Ooh, it's lovely and cuddly. Can I have Owly back now? What? But I've just bought it for a button. It's just a pretend shop, Mummy. Oh, of course. Owly. Susie Sheep loves her toy, Owl. Oh, I'm feeling thirsty. Do you have any fruit juice? Um, no. Sorry, Daddy. But we can order some in. The clubhouse has a toy wooden telephone. Hello. We need fruit juice. Thank you. Goodbye. They said we'll have their fruit juice tomorrow. Oh, I see. OK. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Next. Have you got any cakes? Yes, Mummy. We've got a cake in the toy oven. The toy oven is made of wood and has a light that comes on inside. 
What kind of cake do you want it to be? Um, can it be a carrot cake? OK, it's a carrot cake. That looks delicious. I can't wait to try it. <sighs> it's a plastic toy cake, Mummy. It's not real. Of course. And how much does it cost? One button, please. Have a nice day. Next. What else are you selling in your shop today? Um, we've got magic clothes. Ooh, are they invisible clothes? Yes, they are made with the finest cloth. Fantastic. I'll look like an emperor. They cost five buttons. Very expensive. But I suppose that's what you have to pay for invisible clothes. You can try them on if you like, Mr Pig. Leave your old clothes here. Thank you, but I think I'll try them on at home. Have a nice day. That was quite a queue. Now it's finally my turn. I'd like to buy a... Sorry, Daddy, we're closing. Bye. Have a nice day. <laughs> it is time for the children to take a break. It is hard work running a shop. Here is Mr. Labrador in his ice cream van. <laughs> Hello, children. What can I get you? Ice cream, please. Ice cream, ice cream. Thank you. <laughs> Here is the money. Hang on. These are just buttons. The buttons are pretend money. Of course. Pretend money. How charming. Oh, oh, I'm afraid I haven't got any real money either. No problem, Mr Fig. We take cards. So, that's all the children's ice creams. And one for you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best clubhouse in the whole wide world. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Pepper is visiting the library today. Miss Rabbit is in charge of the library. Hello, Pepper and George. Hello, Miss Rabbit. Everyone keeps quiet in the library so that books can be enjoyed in silence and calm. Here is Mr Bull. He has come to mend the library roof. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. Just mending the roof. Well, please mend it quietly. This is a library. OK. <gasps> the emergency telephone. Hello, rescue service. Miss Rabbit. Tiddles the Tartice is stuck up a tree again. I'll be right there. Back in a mo. Keep everyone quiet for me. OK. Goodness, you're here. Tiddles is too high up to reach. Hmm. Do I need a helicopter or an aeroplane or... Oh, a ladder. What a bit of luck. There was already a ladder here. There. Finished. Lovely job. Ladder coming through. Stand back, everyone. Got you. Miss Rabbit has rescued Tiddles the Tortoise. Tiddles, you naughty boy. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just doing my job. Hello, rescue service. Oh, I'm stuck on the roof. My ladder has vanished into thin air. Oh, uh, how strange. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Thank you. Oh, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Hold tight, Mr Bull. I'm coming up. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Just do my job. Miss Rabbit has rescued Mr Bull. Hang on. This is my ladder. Yes. Lucky for you, I, uh, found it. Yes, that was lucky. Bye. Bye. See you later. Oh. So how am I going to get down? In the library, Pepper, George and Daddy Pig are quietly reading a story. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! Hello, rescue service. 
rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit. Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. Please rescue me. I'm stuck on the library roof. Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call my dad. Hello, a Grampy Rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grumpy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on! I'm coming up! Thank goodness! I'm saved! Miss Rabbit is rescued! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Dad! Just doing my job. Miss Rabbit and Grampy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at... Families! Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Children, today we are going to do drawings of our families. Ooh. This is me. I live on my own in a very tall house. Sometimes my two sisters come to visit. And we play music. Greta plays bass. Gretel plays drums. And I play guitar. We rock! That is my family. Now it is your turn. <laughs> <laughs> this is me, Susie Sheep. I live with my mummy. She likes to push me on the swing. <laughs> Higher, mummy! <laughs> Higher! <laughs> <laughs> and that is my family. I am Mandy Mouse. Here is me with Mummy and Daddy. We like playing in the park. To you, Mandy. <laughs> to you, Daddy. <laughs> if everyone likes playing in the park, who's next? Me. What a lovely drawing, Pedro. This is Mummy and Daddy and me, Pedro Pony. I have glasses. Daddy has glasses. Mummy has contact lenses. Amazing! How about the panda twins? Pandora and Peggy are doing their drawing together. Daddy is a police officer. And Mummy is a firefighter. Sometimes Daddy drives us in his police car. Daddy, can we do the siren? Yes, please, can we do the siren? Now, girls, you know the siren is only for emergencies. Please! Oh, all right then. <laughs> Super! And Danny Dog? My daddy is a sea captain. He has adventures on his boat. But now daddy has come home to me and mummy. And he won't go back to sea ever, ever, ever again. <laughs> what a wonderful adventure! Who's next? I'm Penny Polar Bear. I live with my mummy and my other mummy. One mummy is a doctor and one mummy cooks spaghetti. I love spaghetti. Lovely, Penny. And Freddy Fox? My dad has a van. It has everything in the world inside it. In packs of five. <laughs> Super. And Rebecca? This is me with Mummy, Daddy, Richard, Rosie and Robbie. We live in a hill. Sometimes my auntie Miss Rabbit visits. Oh, it's nice to have a break from all my jobs. Miss 
rescue service, please? I'm stuck up a mountain and I need rescuing! Oh, Dad, not again! OK, I'm on my way! Miss Rabbit is always busy because she does all the jobs in the world. Yes, what would we do without Miss Rabbit? Who's next? I am Peppa Pig. And this is Mummy and Daddy and my little brother George. George thinks his toy dinosaur is scary. <laughs> it is not scary. But if I don't play, he cries. <laughs> It's hard work having a little brother. <laughs> the parents are here to collect the children. Hello. Hello, mummies and daddies. Come and find yourself on our wall. Oh, is that me? Yes, mummy. And that's you, daddy. Oh, oh, it looks exactly like me. Yes, what wonderful drawings of the families. I love families. Peppa <laughs> loves families. Everyone loves families. Today, Peppa and George have come to play at Granny and Grandpa's house. Grandpa! <laughs> Hello, Peppa and George. Hello, my little ones. Granny, why are you dressed funny? Granny is playing another little game with her friends. It's not a game. <laughs> It's an historical reenactment of an ancient time, the 1960s. Ooh. So, I'm dressed as a hippie. What is a hippie? It's what Grandpa and I were a long time ago. Hippies loved colourful clothes. Yes, those were good times. And I've got costumes for you and George. Pepper and George <laughs> are dressed as hippies. Have a nice time. I'll see you later. Uh, 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 hang on, Grandpa. You have to dress up too. What? But I... Uh, if you I, don't uh... join in, you're a square. Why did you say Grandpa is a square? A square is what hippies called people who were grumpy and boring. I'm not grumpy or boring. So I suppose I'll join your little game. Good. I found these clothes in the back of the cupboard. Wow. This is my old flowery shirt and my velvet bell-bottom trousers. <laughs> Maybe this will be fun after all. Follow me, everyone. We're meeting my other hippie friends in the garden. Grampy Rabbit is dressed as a hippie. Groovy man! Madame Gazelle and Granny Elephant are dressed as hippies too. Out of sight, dudes! Freak out, baby! Do you cats dig our bean machine? What? He means, do you like the van? Oh, yes! It's very nice! So now everyone's here, what happens? We're going to do things that hippies did in the 1960s. Well, I was there at the time, but it's so long ago, I can't remember what we did. If you can remember it, you weren't there. Hippies played music. And sang songs. Groovy Rainbow, hear my song. Flowers. They wore them on their heads. <laughs> there you go. Flower power. Flower power. Hippies wanted to be one with nature. We wanted to save the planet. We do that at Playgroup. Save the planet. <laughs> That's right. The children have been learning about nature. We have been saving the planet by planting a little tree. Pepper and her friends like saving the planet. Trees are wonderful living beings. When we were hippies, we used to hug them. Oh. Let's all give the trees a hug. Come on, Grandpa. We're all doing it. Well, I suppose things can't get any sillier. <laughs> the trees like hugs. Of course they do. 
Oh, no, it's raining. Oh, chill out, daddy Oh, Rain is part of nature. And it's only a little shower. The rain is stopping already. The rain has stopped. But now the ground is all wet, it's probably time to stop the hippie game. Um, did hippies jump in muddy puddles? Well, I don't quite remember. Jumping in puddles is really fun. And hippies like fun. <laughs> <laughs> this is groovy. Out of sight, dudes. Right on, man. It's a gas. No, oh, hippies love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Everyone loves jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing in the garden. Can't catch me. <laughs> You're never going to get me. Here is Rebecca Rabbit. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. <laughs> what are you playing? We are running. Running is good. But can you hop? Yes, I can. Hop, hop, hop. That's not hopping, Peppa. That's jumping. Oh. Hopping is when you jump up and down on one leg, like this. Hop, 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 hop. Rebecca hop, Rabbit hop, is good hop, at hopping. Hop, 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 hop. Hop, 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 hop. Come on, George. Hopping is easy. You just jump on one leg. Hop. Hop. That's it. Hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop, hop. Hopping is fun. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Susie. Susie. What are you playing? We are hopping. Like this. <laughs> Super duper. But can you skip? Yes, we can skip. Skip, 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 skip. skip, skip, skip. <laughs> That's not skipping. That is just funny running. Oh. oh. Skipping is when you hop on one leg, then hop on the other leg. Like this. Susie is good at skipping. Hop on one leg. And then the other. <laughs> Come on, George. <laughs> oh. George is good at skipping. <laughs> I can skip the highest. I can skip the longest. <laughs> I can skip the fastest. <laughs> Here is Pedro Pony. Hello, everyone. Nay. Hey. Hello, Hello, Pedro. What are you playing? We were hopping. And now we are skipping. Have you done jumping? No, but I love jumping. <coughs> jump, jump, jump. Peppa is good at jumping. Hopping, skipping and jumping. Can you do them all together? What? what? Like this. I mean a hop, a skip, and then a jump. Like this. Hop, skip, jump. Ooh! My go! Hop, skip, ah, jump! No, that's wrong. I can do it. Skip, skip, hop. No. Jump, jump, jump. No. Let me try. Jump, hop. <gasps> no. Hop, skip, jump is not easy. You have to keep it steady, like this. Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump. Hop, skip, jump. Are you ready? Are you steady? Hop, skip, jump. <laughs> Pepper has found a muddy puddle. Hop, splash, skip, splash, jump, splash. Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> Hop, skip, jump, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> this is the best. Pepper 
Everyone loves Hop, Skip, Jump. Everyone loves Hop, Skip, Jump, especially in muddy puddles. Pepper and her friends are at playgroup. Good morning, children. Good morning, Madam Gazelle. Today, as a special treat, some of you are going to spend a day with the police. As a prisoner? <laughs> no, Freddy. As a guest. They will join us as we drive around in our police car helping people. Who would like to go? Me! Me! me. OK, Peppa and Freddy. <laughs> this is the police car. Have fun. I will call you when it is the children's lunchtime. Right you are, Madam Gazelle. See you later. Don't be late. We are having sandwiches and jelly. Sandwiches and jelly, eh? Mmm, delicious. The police like sandwiches and jelly. Bye, everyone. Bye. Nino, Nino, Nino. <laughs> Can we use the siren, please? I'm afraid not, Freddy. The siren is to be used only for emergencies. <laughs> What's going on here? Oh, dear. There is a traffic jam. We need to get past all these cars to see what the problem is. Can we use the siren now? Yes! This is just the sort of emergency the siren is for. Hooray! It is Mr Stallion. His car has broken down. The police! Thank goodness you're here! What seems to be the trouble? My car is broken. Don't worry, Mr Stallion. We'll sort this out. Thank you. No need to thank us. We're just doing our job. Car parked in middle of road and obstructing traffic. Now we simply move the car out of the way. Ugh, there. And the traffic can move again. Hooray! Emergency over. Bye-bye, Mr Stallion. Bye-bye. Bye. So you see, children, our day is full of emergencies like that. We never know what will come next. Calling all police. Calling all police. Who's that? It's the police station. Receiving you loud and clear. Over. Emergency. Cat stuck up a tree. Another emergency. Can we use the siren again? Of course, Freddy. We've got a cat to rescue. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. What's going on here, then? It's Mr Cat. Meow. Mr Cat is stuck in the tree. What are you doing up there? I climbed up. Why? It seemed like a good idea at the time. <sighs> and now you're stuck? Yes. It's a good thing we're around to help, isn't it? Yes. <sighs> I'll get the ladder. Don't worry, Mr Cat. We'll get you down. Emergency over. Hooray! Sorry, the tree looked like it would be good fun to climb. Yes, it's not a good idea to have a tree here. Dangerous tree in wrong place. So, children, have you enjoyed your day with the police? It's been brilliant! I want to be a policeman when I grow up. Good lad. Calling the police? Over. Another emergency? How exciting! <laughs> Police Officer Panda receiving you loud and clear. Over. Peppa and Freddy are late for their lunch. Remember, it is sandwiches and jelly. Over. Late for sandwiches and jelly? Now that's what I call a real emergency. So can we use the... Use the siren? Of course. It's what the siren was built for. Hooray! Peppa and Freddy love the police car. Everyone loves the police. It is a lovely sunny day at Peppa's house. I'm a tiny little fairy. <laughs> what a noisy little fairy. <laughs> Mummy, I'm going to magic you into a frog. Oh dear, please don't. If you turn me into a frog, I'll have to live in a pond on my own and I will be so sad. <laughs> Don't worry, Mummy. 
It's just pretend. I know, Pepper. I'm pretending too. That's why I winked. What? When someone closes one eye, it is a wink and it means that they are pretending. So, you were pretending to be sad? Yes. It was a joke. Ah, so you were trying to make a joke. It wasn't a very funny joke. <laughs> Thank you, Peppa. Zoe Zebra has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Zoe. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Zoe has her toy monkey. Monkey says, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Let's play in my bedroom. <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> How are you today, monkey? <coughs> oh, dear. Monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> That's not monkey coughing. That's you. No, monkey has a bad cough. <coughs> Why are you closing and opening your eyes? I am closing one eye because I'm winking. Why? You wink to tell people it's pretend. And monkey has a cough. <coughs> Oh, it's a game. <laughs> Here is George. <laughs> so, Dr George, monkey has a bad cough. Dr George, what cure do you suggest for the cough? It's just pretend, George. That's why we are winking. <laughs> Daddy Buzz! Good advice, Dr George. Monkey must go to bed <laughs> and not watch any TV. No fun for Monkey until he is better. <laughs> Thank you, Dr George. <laughs> Daddy Pig has arrived home from work. I'm home. Hello, Daddy Pig. Daddy, Daddy! Monkey had a cough. Dr George told us to put Monkey to bed with no TV. And now Monkey is better. Is there something wrong with your eyes? No, Daddy. We are winking. Oh? It's just pretend. Oh, I see. <laughs> that is clever. And you learned how to wink today, did you? Yes. Well, I learned something new today, too. I learned how to talk like a pirate. Ha ha! Jim lad, shiver me timbers. Arr. Why did you learn to talk like a pirate? Well, you see, I've given up my old job and I've got a new job as a pirate. Daddy Pig, shouldn't we have discussed this first? <laughs> Daddy is just joking, Mummy. <laughs> shiver me timbers. Ha ha ha! <laughs> oh, poor Daddy Pig. Oh, it's nothing. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that pirate voice. <coughs> Are you pretending, Daddy? No, Pepper. I think this is a real cough. <coughs> Daddy Buzz! Yes, Dr George says straight to bed. And no TV for ten years. Oh, dear. That doesn't sound fun. Hmm. I know a nicer way to cure a cough. Oh? You have to wiggle your ears, jump up and down, and quack like a duck. <laughs> quack, 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 quack. What? <laughs> you winked, Mummy. Oh, oh, you're just joking. <laughs> Mummy Pig loves joking. <laughs> Everyone loves joking. <laughs> Pepper and George are playing golf with Grandpa Pig. To play golf is quite simple. You take a golf ball and hit it with a golf club into the hole. Like this. You missed the hole, Grandpa. That's all right. I can hit it again. Missed again, Grandpa. It doesn't matter. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. There. Hooray! <laughs> Here are Mr Stallion and Mrs Corgi. Hello, Grandpa Pig. Showing the little ones how to play golf, eh? Yes, that's right. Well, I hope your grandpa is teaching you properly. The secret is to give the golf club a jolly good swing. 
Wow! The ball went in the hole in one go! Yes, it's called a hole in one. Well done. Grandpa, have you ever done a hole in one? No, I never have. Well, keep trying, old chap. Who knows? You might do it one day. Toodle pip. Bye. Can I have a go now? Of course, Pepper. Do you remember what to do? Yes. You get a ball. A golf ball. And a stick. A golf club. And you hit it. Oh, it didn't go very far. Now it's George's turn. <laughs> remember, you can have as many goes as you like. Ready, steady, go. My turn. Ugh, this is impossible. Don't worry, Pepper. We've got all day. Ugh. Ugh. I'm a bit bored, Grandpa. Ooh, what's that? It looks like a fairy castle. There's a windmill and a dinosaur. It's just kiddie golf, Pepper. It's for little children. But, Grandpa, we are little children. Oh, yes, so you are. All right, you and George can play. <laughs> <laughs> this is the kiddie golf course. How do we play? Well, I suppose it is quite fun. The ball has to go through that windmill, over the back of the dinosaur, onto a fairy castle and into the hole. Me first. <laughs> you go, George. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> What's this? Grandpa, are you playing kiddie golf? Uh, yes. Pepper and George are little, you see. Lucky you. I wish we could play kiddie golf. You can play with us. Oh, thank you, Pepper. Hmm, let me see now. Oh, bad luck, old bean. I say, this is rather fun. Oh. It must be your turn now, eh, Grandpa Pig? Oh, this is not really my kind of game. Don't worry, Grandpa. You can hit the ball as many times as you like. I suppose so. We've got all day. <laughs> OK. <laughs> Is it all in one go? You got a hole in one. Yes, I did. For the first time in my life, a hole in one. Hooray! Well done, old chap. My grandpa is the best. Grandpa Pig loves playing golf. Everybody loves playing golf. Pepper and her family are in America on their way to Hollywood. I don't know. Let's stop and look at the map. Hmm. So, what have we got here? It's another Miss Rabbit. Is everything all right, Miss Rabbit? Sir, did you know that you may only stop on a freeway if it is an emergency? But it is an emergency. We've won tickets to be in Super Potato's new movie, Vegetables in Space. So we need to get to Hollywood. Oh, well, in that case, just hang a right and then you head straight on until you see the stars. But it's daytime. The stars aren't in the sky. They're on the ground. Ooh. Ooh. Thank, Thank you, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Bye. We've got to look for the stars. <laughs> star. George has seen a star. And another star. There are lots of stars all over the ground. There's Super Potato! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! And I am Hash Brown. Ooh. And I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> we won a ticket to be in your movie. Vegetables in space. Then let's get to the studio. We've got a movie to make. <laughs> Here is the movie studio. 
This is where we make the movie. Wow! It's like we're really in space. That's right. Time to put on your costumes. <laughs> Pepper and her family are dressed up as broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny, Mummy Broccoli. So do you, Pepper Broccoli. Shh! No talking on set. We are about to start filming my movie, Vegetables in Space. Lights. <laughs> camera. Action. Attention. The galaxy is being taken over by a bunch of naughty carrots. Not the carrots. Yes, the naughty carrot bunch. I, Super Potato, am here to save the day. And I, Hash Brown, will save the day too. Um, what do we do? You are the vegetables in space. You have to cheer when we save the day. Oh, okay. How are you going to save the day, Super Potato? Uh, we haven't thought of that bit yet. Oh, no! The naughty carrots will destroy the universe. If only there was some way of getting rid of them. We can't eat the carrots. But there are too many. Hello? Hello there? What's this? There are some fans here to see Hash Brown. It is Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, Miss Rabbit, and Miss Rabbit. Hooray! It's the Miss Rabbit. We decided to take the day off for a change. We couldn't miss Hash Brown. He's our favorite potato starch-based movie star. <laughs> You're too kind. Uh, could you help us save the universe? We have to eat the carrots. Sure thing, we're rabbits. We love carrots. <laughs> save some for me. I love carrots too. Look, it's our Miss Rabbit. Mmm, yummy. We did it! The universe is saved! Hooray! Thanks to Peppa Pig. And all the Miss Rabbits. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Actually, I'm here to take you home. Oh, already? <coughs> bye bye, everyone. Bye. bye. Have you had a good time in America, Peppa? Yes, it's been amazing. What was the best bit? The best bit was everything. Peppa has had a wonderful time in America. Peppa and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. What game should we play today? Let's play adventures. Outside our clubhouse is a forest full of yes, dangerous yes, yes. wild yes, animals. Yes, yes, yes. I'll email the numbers over later when I've got access to the... The threat. wild animals are yes, outside. As long as we stay inside, we are safe. I love this game. <laughs> the spreadsheet numbers were copy and pasted from document Daddy! Format Daddy! Uh, I'll call you back. Someone's asking me something. You have to be a wild animal. Oh, oh, I think I can manage that. You are in a forest. OK, I'll be a wild pig. <laughs> I'm a dangerous wild pig living in the forest. And we are safe in our little house. <laughs> we need more wild animals. Mummy! Yes, Mandy? You have to be a scary animal. Um, OK. I will be a wild mouse. Squeak, squeak. <gasps> Mummy, that's not even a little bit scary. Sorry. Can you growl? Growl? Well, I could have a go, but I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, my goodness, Mummy Polar Bear. You gave me a shock. <laughs> Polar bears like growling. Wow, they are good. My mummies are best at growling. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky we're safe inside. <laughs> you can't get us. Our house is too strong. What's your house made of? Straw, sticks or brick? Um, it's made of... plastic? Jolly good. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. 
the clubhouse is very strong. Impressive. Yes, Daddy. So you will have to stay outside with the other wild animals. Let's make the game more scary. Yes! We can pretend there's a jungle outside with real jungle animals. We need a jungle animal, like a tiger. Oh, I can sound like a tiger. Is that any good? No. Well, how about a lion? Stop, Mummy. My friends are here. I can roar. That's really good. Oh, oh, I am a bit of an expert. No one can do a lion better than me. Roar. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Mr. Lion. Hello. And here is Mrs. Crocodile. Uh, we've had a problem at the zoo. Uh, don't panic, but some animals have escaped. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We heard lots of strange noises coming from here and wondered if the zoo animals had passed this way. Uh, those noises were just us. We were playing at being wild animals. I see. <laughs> we'll be on our way then. Um, these escaped animals you're looking for, what are they? Do they have big teeth? No, they've got beaks. Do they roar? No, they make a sound like... <laughs> It is the penguins from the zoo. Oh, they're so cute. Ah, <laughs> uh, there you are, you cheeky penguins. <laughs> they're always running away. They think having me and Mrs. Crocodile chase after them is a fun game. Hello, penguins. Would you like to see our clubhouse? Here's the slide. <laughs> and here is our swing. Penguins, do you like our clubhouse? The penguins love the clubhouse. Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. Pepper and her friends are playing in their clubhouse. Let's play detectives. This is our detective club and we will solve mysteries. Ooh. We have to find a mystery. Yes. We can use the telephone. Hello? We are important detectives and we need a mystery. They said go outside. But that's a wooden telephone. It doesn't work. We're playing a game, Susie. Ah, oh, OK. <laughs> Daddy, we are a detective club. That sounds lovely. We solve mysteries. Fantastic. Uh. Only problem is, it's actually time for us to go home. Oh, but I want to play some more. You can come back to the clubhouse tomorrow. OK, Daddy. Bye, Peppa. Bye. Bye. Oh, the car's locked. Daddy Pig cannot open the car door. Uh, and I don't seem to have the key. Until I've found my key, we can't go home. Hooray! We can play more. <laughs> Come back to the detective club, Peppa. <laughs> uh, I wonder if your detective club can help me find my key. Yes, that's a real mystery. OK, we'll help you, Daddy. Thank you. The key must be somewhere around here. If we all crawl around looking on our hands and knees, we might find it. No, we are detectives. We do not crawl around on our hands and knees. I see. We have clever ways to do things. Maybe there's a way to open the car without a key. Um, we could ring the police. Yes, they can open locked cars. Phone the police. This is the police station. Slow day today. If only we had something to do. <sighs> Phone the police? That's brilliant. Uh, only problem is, where have I put my phone? It's in the car. Daddy Pig's phone is locked inside the car. That's not good. <laughs> Grumpy Rabbit. Can I use your phone? Sorry, old chap, I left my phone at home. But looks like there's a phone in the clubhouse. Fantastic. Uh, how do I use this thing? 
It's a toy phone. It's made of wood. Let me have a go. I do have quite a loud voice. Grumpy Rabbit has the loudest voice in the world. Help! Someone's calling for help. We've got ourselves a job. To the police car. Did someone shout for help? Yes, we've got an emergency. What kind of emergency? Flood? Earthquake? Tornado? Um, I'm locked out of my car. Daddy can't drive us home. Good thing you called us. That was our idea. Good work, children. We'll take it from here. Daddy Pig, where is your car key? I've lost it. Key is lost. This might sound very silly, but have you looked in all the obvious places, like your pockets? My key! Daddy Pig's key was in his pocket. That's funny. I didn't even know I had pockets. Mystery solved. All thanks to the quick thinking of these young children. We are detectives. And this is our clubhouse. Very smart. I wish we had a clubhouse. We do. It's called the police station. Yes, but the police station doesn't have a slide or a swing. Yes, our clubhouse is the best in the whole world. <laughs> Pepper and her friends love the clubhouse. Everyone loves the clubhouse. 